What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanna show you a neat way that you can access and unlock hidden features on your fifth gen foreigner, but also make advanced customizations to your vehicle. So I found out a while back that there are a lot of cool hidden features that the 5th Gen Foreigner has that you can access, customize, and features that you can actually unlock. Um, the problem is, is that normally you're not really supposed to be able to do this at home. This is something you take your vehicle into Toyota and they would modify it for you. You basically have to beg them to do it and sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. Sometimes they'll charge you, sometimes they won't. Um, but it's nice to have the flexibility to make these changes at home. Now, the way that you do that is through an app called Carista. It's an application that you get on your phone and then you use an OBD2 scan tool. Um, I got the VPeak OBD2 scan tool. Uh, you can use the one from Carista, but I've heard bad things about it just in general as a scan tool. So I'd recommend getting this one. This one by VPeak has really good reviews online. It has incredible reviews on Amazon. It's probably your best bang for buck OBD2 scan tool. I'll leave a link in the description to where I bought mine and where you can find yours. But yeah, what we're gonna do is plug this into the car's computer, download the Carista app, go in, make some cool changes to our 5th Gen 400 in terms of customizations, but there's also cool features that we can unlock, like being able to roll down our windows uh, with our key fob. That's something that would probably be handy on you know, a hot summer day. So I'm really excited to see the things that we can actually go in, modify, change, and features that we can unlock. So let's jump into it. Let's download the app on our phone and get this thing plugged into the car. All right, so on our phone, we'll go into the App Store. Um, if you have an Android, I think it's the Play Store. And we'll go to search. Let's just type in Carista. Carista OBD2, there it is. We'll just hit download. So if you have an Android, you download this. I'll have to type in my password, just a moment. All right, so now it's downloading. Open it up, agree to the terms. Okay, so now we need to connect it to our car. All right, so we got the OBD2 scan tool. We have the app downloaded on our phone. Let's plug this into the vehicle. So we'll come into our Forerunner, and we have our steering wheel. We come down and under here. Let's see if I can get the camera down low enough. You'll have this white port right here. So you'll plug your tool in and a light should come on to indicate that it's plugged in. Great, so you can see the little blue light that's turned on here. That's how we knew our tool's plugged in properly. So we'll come in to our vehicle now and we'll just put it into the on position. So I push start, so I'll just hit the button twice, once. I don't have to start the engine, so if you, you, know, if, if you have the key ignition, just turn it to the on position. These lights will come on and our tool should start to read from the computer. Uh, what we'll do now is we'll go into the app. Make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. So let's hit the Krista app here. Great, it's gonna ask us to connect. So it gives us some options here. I'm gonna click on Kiwi 3. And it says it's now connecting to the OBD device. Great, so it's showing the VIN number for the vehicle. Uh, I'll get my better camera here so you can see better. All right, so as you can see, we can customize and unlock hidden features. So it's going to show us what we can do here. All right, so it's gone through its process there of detecting the vehicle that I have, what options there are to change. It's giving me a whole bunch of options here. So let's go to the most popular one, uh, Windows and Sunroof. So here's a cool option. Open Windows via long press on remote. Let's turn that on. Save. So now it's giving me some options here. So let's do the free trial here. So this is how you can do this actually for free. Um, make sure that uh, you do cancel it though. Um, after the, uh, I think it's a one week trial, make sure you cancel it. Otherwise you will get charged for the full year, but just do the one week trial, make the changes that you want, see how you like them. If you don't like them, reverse them, but make sure you do all those changes within the first week and then cancel the subscription. And then you will not be charged to use Carista to make these changes. You can do say a one month subscription for 12 
you know, if you ever want to go back in and make changes. So I'll go with this. So I'll probably have to enter my credit card information now. So actually I think I can just do it with the, the side click because I already have it in my Apple store. Good, so I'll make sure I cancel that in a week or even probably in just like a few days, you know, I'll, I'll see how you like the features and turn that on, save. Now let's see, it's gonna be a bit of a process, I guess, to save that change to the computer. Perfect, it's changed. Um, open, so there's another option, open windows and sunroof by turning and holding the key in the door lock. Kind of neat. Close windows and sunroof by turning key in the door lock. So there's a whole bunch of cool stuff you can do here. Um, let's see what other stuff they have. So it's crazy all the stuff you can modify here. So you have a big list of things and within this list, each one has its own list of things you can modify. Um, so starting off at the top, dings and warnings. You can actually turn off the seatbelt dinging warning for the driver or passenger. Pretty crazy. Um, you can turn off the dinging when the key is left in the vehicle. These are some things I probably wouldn't change, um, but it's neat that you have the option. Uh, let's see, lights automatic. So auto headlights activation threshold. So this would be for your automatic headlights, um, how much light you'd require to trigger them to turn on. So you can actually set the threshold. So that's pretty cool. Um, exterior lights, uh, let's see, coming home, lights duration, 30 seconds. So uh, probably when you walk up to your vehicle, it'll turn the lights on for 30 seconds. Turn on exterior foot lighting when smart key within range. So that's the lighting on the exterior of the vehicle. So you can turn these things on or off. Uh, interior lights. So we have a whole bunch of options in here. Dim interior lights after 15 seconds. You can make it seven seconds or 30 seconds. So that's kind of like, I guess, if you jump in your vehicle, how long do you want your lights to stay on for? Um, interior foot lights. So anyways, there's just so many things that you can modify in here. It's, it's just, it's endless. It's, it's crazy stuff that I didn't know that I could actually modify. That's unbelievable. I thought that everything kind of worked on a basic circuit, but I guess a lot of this stuff runs through the computer and the computer's making decisions or it's kind of telling these things what to do. So super neat, a very powerful app. Um, you do have diagnose service stuff here um, and kind of live data. So you could keep this thing running and just see live data on your car while it's running. But the nice thing about having the VPeak OBD2 reader is that it will work with other applications like Torque which is probably the best application you can get. They do have a light version, which is also free. But yeah, super happy with Carista. Super neat, the customizations you can do. Um, just make sure that uh, you do cancel before that one week is up, or otherwise you will get charged $69. All right, so to cancel your Carista subscription, just go to your settings, click on your name, and then go to subscriptions. And then you'll have Carista here, click it and then you can cancel free trial. If you do have an Android phone, you'll wanna go into the Play Store and within the Play Store, there should be something about subscriptions and you can cancel it within the actual Play Store, the Google Play Store. So if you have a Samsung phone or any other Android LG phone, that's how you do it. But with the iPhone, that is how you do it. All right guys, so that turned out better than I was expecting. That app is super easy to use and there's so many things that you can customize on the fifth gen Foreigner and some pretty cool stuff that you can unlock, just hidden features that the vehicle has. Um, I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please like, subscribe. I hope to come out with a lot more videos and always appreciate your guys' support. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye now.